This is the third video out of three on the topic traces, cylinders, and surfaces of revolution. Let's continue our discussion on surfaces of revolution. We define a surface of revolution to be the surface generated by a plane curve C as it is revolved about a fixed line L that lies on the plane of C. To illustrate, let's consider this red curve lying on the yz coordinate plane as the plane curve C. And let's consider the z-axis to be the fixed line L lying on the plane containing C. A surface of revolution is obtained by revolving the red curve about the z-axis. So it is this blue surface in this figure. We call the red curve as the generating curve and we call the fixed line L as the axis of revolution. In the next slides, we only consider cases when the axis of revolution is a coordinate axis and the generating curve C lies on a coordinate plane containing the axis of revolution. In this slide, we derive an equation of a surface of revolution satisfying the conditions previously stated. So let's consider this surface, SOR, surface of revolution, generated by the curve y equals f of x revolved about the x-axis. So in this figure, the generating curve is this red curve. It is the graph of y equals f of x and it lies on the xy coordinate plane. The point P is a point on the curve and its coordinates are x, comma, f of x, comma, 0. The point C is a point on the x-axis whose distance from the origin is also x units, the same as the point P. Next, we consider the point Q to be a point on the surface. Notice that the three points Q, C, and P lie on some plane that is parallel to the YZ coordinate plane since they all have X as their X coordinate. We see in this figure that this is actually a circle. It is a cross section of the surface of revolution. So it follows that the distance of the point Q from C is the same as the distance of the point P from C. By distance formula, we have the following. On the left hand side, we have the distance of the point Q from C. So that is uh, x minus x squared plus y minus 0 squared plus z minus 0 squared square root. On the right-hand side of this equation, we have the distance of the point P from C. That is x minus x squared plus f of x minus 0 squared plus 0 minus 0 squared square root. Simplifying, we get this equation. So this uh, equation in red is the equation of the surface of revolution uh, that we have obtained when we revolve the curve y equals f of x about the x-axis. Um, it is easy to remember. So the axis of revolution is the x-axis. So we have here um, f of x squared um, equal to the other two variables squared. So y squared plus z squared. So in the next slide, we have the other cases. So we have here, if the axis of revolution is the x-axis, and the generating curve is of the form f of x equals z or f of x equals y, then the equation of the SOR or the surface of revolution is f of x squared equal to y squared plus z squared. Similarly, if the axis of revolution is the y-axis, so we would like to have a generating curve which is of the form f of y equals uh, z or f of y equals x. To obtain the equation of the surface, 
of revolution um, to be this one. So f of y squared equal to x squared plus z squared. Finally, if the axis of revolution is the z axis and the generating curve is of the form f of z equals y or f of z equal to x, then the equation of the surface of revolution is f of z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Let's look at the following examples. So find the equation and sketch the graph of the surface generated by y equals z squared revolved about the z-axis. So first note that the axis of revolution is the z-axis. So we would like a generating curve to be of the form f of z equals x or f of z equal to y. In this case, we have um, already have f of z equal to y. So hence, f of z is equal to z squared. It immediately follows that the equation of the SOR, or surface of revolution, is f of z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. So we have this one. Now, rewriting, we obtain this equation. x squared plus y squared minus z to the 4 equal to 0. Next, we sketch the graph of the SOR. We begin by sketching the graph of y equals z squared on the yz coordinate plane. So we have this parabola on the yz, yz coordinate plane. Next, we revolve the generating curve about the z-axis to obtain the graph of the SOR. If we consider the red curve, on this side and revolve about the z-axis, we obtain the same SOR. We can also see in the figure the magenta curve. So the magenta curve is the trace of the SOR on the xz coordinate plane. We also obtain the same SOR if we consider the magenta curve as the generating curve. Next example, find the equation and sketch the graph of the surface generated by y equals sine x revolved about the x-axis. So again, we begin by uh, noticing that the x-axis is the axis of revolution. So we would like the form of the generating curve to be f of x equal to y or f of x equal to z. In this case, we already have that y equals f of x, so f of x is equal to sine x. Next, we form the equation of the SOR. Uh, that's easy, so we just have f of x squared equal to y squared plus z squared. So we have sine squared x equal to y squared plus z squared. Next, we sketch the graph of the surface by first sketching the graph of y equals sine x on the xy coordinate plane. So this is the xy coordinate plane. This is a portion of the graph of y equals sine x. So next, we revolve this curve about the x-axis. So this is the graph of the SOR. So again, we see here a magenta curve, and that is the trace of the SOR on the XZ coordinate plane. Another example, so find the equation and sketch the graph of the surface generated by y squared plus z squared over 4 equal to 1 revolved about the y-axis. So here we have the axis of revolution in the y-axis. So we look for a generating curve of the form f of y equal to z. So we begin by isolating z from this equation 
and we get this one. So actually, we get z equal to plus minus square root 4 minus 4y squared. But by symmetry of the ellipse uh, about the y-axis, we may consider the positive branch of the square root. So note that the graph of this equation is an ellipse. So next, we form the equation of the SOR. And it's, uh, it is equal to, so the equation is f of y squared, f of y is this part, square root of 4 minus 4y squared. So the equation of the SOR is f of y squared equal to x squared plus z squared. So f of y squared equal to x squared plus z squared. Rewriting, we get this equation. So now we sketch the graph of the SOR by first sketching the ellipse on the YZ coordinate plane. So here is the graph of the ellipse on the YZ coordinate plane. We just revolve this red curve about the Y axis. So we, ha we have to the surface of revolution. Okay, so now we see a blue curve here, and that is the trace of the surface on the xy plane. And we have a magenta curve, which is the trace of the SOR on the xz coordinate plane. Actually, if we revolve the blue curve about the y-axis, we obtain the same SOR. Another example, so find the equation and sketch the graph of the surface generated by z equals e to the x about the z-axis, revolved about the z-axis. So again, the axis of revolution is the z-axis. So the generating curve that we want is of the form f of z equal to x in this case. So from here, from the given, we just um, take ln uh, of both sides to get f of z equal to x. So the generating curve can be represented by taking ln of both sides. We, have, uh, we get x equals ln of z. So we can take ln of z to be our f of z. So the following um, is uh, easy. So the SOR equation... It's just f of z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. So we have ln of z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. So we sketch the graph of the SOR by first sketching the graph of z equals e to the x on the xz coordinate plane. Like this. So xz coordinate plane. This is z equals e to the x. So next, we revolve the generating curve about the z-axis. So we get the graph of the SOR. So again, the magenta curve that you see in this figure is the trace of the surface on the yz coordinate plane. Okay, finished. Thank you for watching.